Um, hey guys, so this is number two of um, the lemon and carrot cake thing. And I've got my cakes baked. Um, in the cake, lemon cake number one, I only showed how I put this cake in. And these little mini muffins. But I still had so much dough left that I made another one of these square cakes. I don't know yet if I'm going to have enough, enough fondant to cover three layers of cake. Plus this in these little guys. What I'm probably going to do is just I'm going to cover these three with fondant. And I'm going to leave these covered with um, frosting. I don't know yet because the frosting's white and the fondant's white. So I think I'll be good with that. So that's what I'm going to do. These cakes are nice and cold because I had them frozen. This cake is still very warm. This cake is still very warm. And these little guys are still... They're not cold, but they're not like really whatever either. So I'm gonna let this cake cool. Probably gonna put it in the freezer or cake or fridge because I really want it to cool fast because I still have to do some other stuff. So yeah, I'll be back when these cakes are cooled down. Guess what guys? I put the cake outside because it's super cold outside. Not super cold, but like probably like in the a little colder than in the refrigerator. Maybe a little less than the freezer. It's like in the middle. So I just put the cake on the thing and put something over it. Just in case of birds, animals, or anything dirty. So, yeah. And I'm going to wait a couple minutes and hope that it will be cool enough to put frosting and fondant on. So I have the cakes chilling. I'm going to tell you what you're going to need. So you're going to need whatever cake you're using. And if you're making the same cake I am making, then this is what you will need two or three layers of cake for little mini muffins and one big um, dome. Then you're going to need um, two um, store-bought regular frostings. I am using the classic vanilla creamy home style frosting. Um, if you don't want to use the store-bought one, you can make your own. Um, you can like search. You can search online how to make your own frosting. I would prefer to make a little firm frosting so it will hold everything together. Then I'm gonna need like a spatula, whatever it's called, to you know smooth the cake everything out. If you don't have one of these, which are like super cheap to buy in the store, a couple of dollars, um, then you can just use either a regular knife and use um, this side and do that, or you can just use a spatula, a regular one. Yeah, I don't even know why I have this out, I think, to lift up my cakes. <laughs> so, yeah. And then, for the fondant, I just got this white decorating fondant. I chose white because the Taj Mahal is white slash, like, cream colored. So, um, yeah, and this is what it comes with, its instructions, and the fondant. So, I've worked with fondant only one time in my life, and that was a total fail. So I'm really hoping this will turn out. The fail was I tried to make a Captain America cake, Captain America cake for, um, I don't know, I don't know what I did, um, and it totally didn't turn out. I followed the instructions of um, Yummy Nummies, and it didn't work. So yeah, I'm kind of scared of using that fondant over there. Okay, so I put my cakes in the freezer because they were not really um, cooling down as quick as I wanted to. I have a picture of the Taj Mahal, and I'm going to try to do as much as detail as I can. Um, then what you're also going to need, um, if you want to have like a, because the frost, the, the icing is going to be white, so, so you want to have like a little different color for the signing, because otherwise it's going to look weird, so I'm going to have some yellow food coloring, just to make the white um, icing a little like creamier color, so you can do all the designs, and then... I have piping bags, but if you, but a, like it's a big one, and I'm only gonna be using a small amount of frosting or icing to decorate. Um, so I'm just got this little tiny plastic bag where I'm gonna put it in, and it clips to create at the top. And a toothpick just to get like really good details in there if I have to. Okay, so I got the cakes out of the freezer. Um, they're still slightly warm, but I think the frosting in front and are gonna be fine with it. So, I'm going to do carrot cake, lemon cake, carrot cake, lemon cake, lemon, 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 lemon. 
So let's get started with the frosting part. I'm gonna put you guys down because I can't hardly, because I can't frost with something in my hand now, can I? Okay, that just sounded really weird. Okay. Okay, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know, I feel so Christmassy. I don't know. I really don't know why. I always like to put a little less first because I don't want to put too much. I just want to put like a little tiny layer to stick the carrot, um, the lemon cake on. I don't want a lot of frosting on here. Just a little bit to stick the cakes on top of each other. Um, actually, I'm do gonna put a quite layer because otherwise it's just gonna be cake in your mouth when you eat it. And you also want a little bit of like this total sweet frosting there, don't you? That's what I would want. Like a like cake. I don't want the frosting or the cake to overpower. I want both to be in me tasting it. So I'm just gonna fill this out and then I'm gonna be done back when I stack the cakes on top of each other. Okay guys, so I'm done layering and sort of crumb coating my cake with frosting. Um, this is going to go on the fridge for 5 to 10 minutes so the frosting is not super sticky. Then I'm going to put the fondant on and then I'm going to have to make a third part because I used this all up and I still need some for decorating and for filling out like the little tiny spots that I couldn't finish or missed. So um, yeah, check out the third part too when we're, oh look at that, that was a bad thing. Um, when I am done with the frosting, I mean with the fondant. So I'll be back when the fondant's on. So I'm rolling out the fondant right now. Um, it's really hard because I don't have a roller, so I'm just using this bottle. So I'll be back for the third part because this is going to take a while and my phone is almost dead. So. Yeah, watch the third part if you want to see how it continues with this cake here.